So this is a quick video showing the off-leash canine training e-collar because we've received so many questions about it. Um, so we'll start off, this is uh, the setup you get. You get a nice carrying travel case um, that everything comes in. It comes with a lanyard that hooks to the remote so that way you can wear it around your neck so you don't have to actually carry the remote. It also comes with short-haired and long-haired prongs um, depending on the length of your dog's hair for the best contact. As you see, the e-collar is uh, a lot smaller than the Sport Dog 400, which is really nice. Um, so it looks much nicer and cleaner on dogs. It's not a big, bulky piece of equipment. To turn these on, to turn the e-collar on, you touch the red dot of the remote to the red dot of the collar. And you see that activates a green light. That's really nice because the ones that have the push button turn on, um, sometimes if the dogs lay on them improperly, they can actually turn on or off the e-collar by laying on the button with their neck. To turn on the remote, there's an on and off button here that you hold down. And that turns on and off the remote. You'll see the remote has a nice blue light up LED screen so at night time you can um, have complete accuracy of the number you're on because it lights up a nice bright blue at night. To start off, this e-collar has a range of 1200 yards which is a really long distance. Um, 1200 yards is 12 football fields, it's 3 quarters of a mile, however you want to look at it. It's a really, really long range. Both of these are 100% waterproof up to 100 foot underwater. Um, as I always tell our clients, if your dog's more than 100 foot under, then you have more problems than the e-collar. So it's a really, really long range. feature that everyone loves and raves about is um, the LEDs on the e-collar itself. So say your dog's 100 yards away, outside, off leash, it's nighttime, running around in the woods, you can't see him. You just click that on and off button once and it starts strobing the e-collar. And again, this can work up to 1,200 yards away. As you see how bright it is, and this is daylight with lights on, um, so you can imagine how bright it is at night. If you just press that button once more, it stays solid. So you just see your dog running around out there. If you press it once more, it shuts it off. Um, the light, it shuts the light off. Um, so that's a really awesome feature that everyone's really excited about. Another feature it has, as you see, it has a turn dial system that goes from 0 to a 100. Um, say you know your dog normally responds on a 10. So if you put it on 10 and hold that button down, it locks a 10 in place. That way you can't change it. If you press it down again, it unlocks it and now you can go back to control and the level of stimulation. It has three operating modes. As you see, it has an M, which what that does is that means a momentary or a nick, and then a plus 25. So whatever number you're on, say you're at a 5, if you hit the red, it jumps it up plus 25 for emergencies. And then to change it, there's a button back here, and that puts it on C, which is a continuous and a continuous plus 25. And then if you press it once more, then you have M and C, and that's the mode we use. What that is, is momentary and continuous. As you see, there's no more plus 25. It's your nick, and then your continuous. So is it a quick stimulation or more of a pulse type stimulation? Another feature that we really like, um, that everyone's happy about, is both of these have low battery indicators on them. Where before, you know, the Sport Dog brand does not have a low battery indicator. Um, we tell people just charge it every night. Where these, as you see, they're both blinking green. That means they're fully charged. If they start to get around 50%, they'll start blinking orange. And if they start to get around 15%, they'll start blinking red. So then you know that you need to charge it. Another great feature this has is the remote has a standby mode. Uh, if you don't touch this remote or press anything for 15 minutes, the remote will automatically go into standby mode, kind of like a computer. <clears throat> and all you got to do is spin the wheel and it brings it back out of standby mode. When fully charged, this can stay in standby mode for about three weeks. Um, so you're truly, really only using the battery when you're actually using the remote, which is not very often. So uh, you get a lot more life out of this e-collar as well. It also has a lost transmitter mode, which is really nice. Say you know you're going to go out to the lake, you're going to go out into the woods. If you just turn this dial to a zero and you press the light button back here, followed by this, 
Now what that did right there is six hours from now, this remote will start beeping. It'll just keep beeping and beeping and beeping until you pick it up and press a button. Um, and what that does, it lets it know that someone found it. So when you press a button, it shuts it off. Say a couple hours from now, you come back and you didn't lose the remote. You just do that same sequence and it shuts the lost transmitter mode off. And now it's off. Again, it comes with a charger. The charger has two ends, so you can charge both the collar and the remote at the same time. And um, that's pretty much the wrap-up of the Off-Leash Canine Training 1200. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email us, info at offleashcaninetraining.com, or call us at 888-413-0896. And this does come with a two-year warranty, so if anything quits working over the next two years from purchase, then we replace it for free.